Yeah. You're going to get emotional? Yes. From the very beginning, you have brought so much fun and laughter into my life. <laughs> Your sense of humour and ability to find joy in the simplest of things is something that I will always cherish about you. You always know how to make me laugh until I'm crying. <laughs> and you always encourage me when I've caught the sillies too. <laughs> You have taught me that you will support me even during my darkest days. You are able to love me at my worst, sometimes in ways that I don't even realise are what I've needed. When the world seems against me, you are there showing me that I'm not alone. I was so lucky to have found you exactly at the time in my life when I needed you the most. And I am so proud to now be able to call myself your wife. <laughs> my wife. <laughs> Over the last nine years, you have shown me the true meaning of resilience. Your passion and dedication to achieving your goals is something that I'm so proud of you for. As we embark on this new chapter of our lives, I promise to continue to encourage you to get to where you want to be. I will be your biggest cheerleader, pushing you to reach for the stars. Looking ahead to our future, I'm filled with excitement for what's to come. I can't wait for us to become parents, <laughs> inevitably passing on our silliness to our children. I can't wait for cosy Christmas mornings, regular Sunday roasts, <laughs> and obviously family trips to the Lego store. Obviously. Our home will be filled with love, support, and absolute chaos, and you are the only person that I would want to help me build that future. You are my better half and my very favorite person, and I am forever yours. I love you more than words can express, and I'm very excited to spend the rest of my life making memories with you. <laughs> Thank you, that's so nice. I love you. Helena, from our first date, I knew we would have a future together, which is why I kept that stupid train ticket for so long. I knew you'd be someone that would make me laugh and make me happy at every opportunity, but that seems only surface level to what we have today. I dropped everything, which wasn't a lot to be fair, to be with you at every moment. I knew I wouldn't, I knew I wanted to be with you and it's the best instinctual decision I've ever made. You're incredibly patient and loving. During those times when I didn't know what I wanted to be or what I could be and all I saw in the mi mirror was failure, you still told me you loved me and could see that there was great potential in there somewhere. <laughs> We both know that I could have quite easily carried on in the restaurant industry. I would probably be a regional branch manager by now, but you would never have let that happen. <laughs> As you could see how unhappy that route was making me. Instead, you put in the effort I didn't have the mental strength for to get me signed up and excited to go back to university. Giving me a chance to recuperate what I felt I had previously wasted and lost. This came at the expense of us making movements on key life decisions, which I know you really wanted to happen sooner. Also that I could have a shot at being someone that I can love even a fraction as much as you do. Dare I say, I'm even happy enough with who I am that I consider myself decent enough to ask for your hand in marriage. <laughs> Something that I had struggled to do for the longest time. You are my soulmate. To try and thank you for everything you've done for me, I wrote you a really short and deadly serious poem. It's called, To My Wonderful Peanut Butter. I love you when you're crunchy. I love you when you're sweet. I love your flailing arms, and I love your deadly feet. Our life so far has been far from smooth, and I think we're both quite nutty. I promise I'll love you forevermore, from your head down to your butty. <laughs> we're all here today to witness the marriage of Chris and Helena. And on their behalf, I would welcome you all. I know it means a great deal to them that you can all be here today to share in this happiness. Nick. Do you give your beautiful daughter, Helena, in marriage to Christopher? I do. Chris and Helena, you have surrounded yourselves with those whom you love most. You've invited them all here today to receive their encouragement, their support, and to celebrate with you on this very special occasion. Chris, will you take Helena to be your wife? I will. Helena, yeah. will you take Chris to be your husband? I will. I give you this ring as a symbol of my love and commitment and I call upon these persons here present to witness that I, Christopher, do take thee, Helena, to be my lawful wedded <laughs> wife. From this day forward, it is my promise that I will share with you all that I have and all that I am. I will honour and care for you and we will be as one. Our love and friendship will last forever.
<laughs> this day will form a milestone in your lives. You both look back upon it with love and happiness as the start of your new life together. We all hope that the feelings of love that you have for each other will deepen and grow ever stronger throughout the years to come. It's my great pleasure to say Christopher and Helen, you're now husband and wife together. And they kiss your brother. <laughs> Well, as you know, I'm Helena's father, and traditionally my job is to deliver a short speech about the bride. And so we come to today, the crowning moment of her life to date, when you both get new mothers-in-law who must be obeyed, a new next of kin, and new bits of silverware. Now, at, at weddings, you can be tempted into looking back too much, as I've been doing, but they are really for looking forward to a full life full of happiness, but meeting what bumps there are together and I'm sure Helen and Chris will do just that. And it's my duty now to raise a toast to the bride and groom. Bride and groom. Hi, so for those who don't know me, I'm Tom and I'm Chris's best man today. I'm very happy to preside over the 10 minutes of the day that Helena hasn't thoroughly planned and vetted. <laughs> so Chris had a hard time choosing his best man. First, he asked his funniest friend and he said no. Secondly, he asked his smartest friend and he said no. Thirdly, he asked his most handsome friend, and he said no. Finally, he called me up, and I said, Chris, I can't say no to you four times. I'll do it. <laughs> Anyone who knows Chris will know that he is one of the warmest, kindest people you could be lucky enough to meet. He is probably the only person I know who is genuinely universally liked. So throw this all together, with the brain power to earn a master's in physics, a pension for classic rock, and the wardrobe of Ace Ventura, and I think, <laughs> and I think we can all see how Helena fell for his charms. <laughs> I am extremely proud to be his friend and to be asked to do this today, even if the stress of organising the stag do and explaining the most basic wedding concepts to Chris and his groomsmen have taken years <laughs> of my life. Chris's constant support, humour and friendship have been steadfast components in my life and his character is a credit to his family, his wife and his friends. And I'm now proud to also call Helena one of my close friends. Please, can you all raise your glass to Chris and Helena, Mr. and Mrs. Bentley, and to a lifetime of happiness and cats. Yeah. Yeah.